understanding the nuances of disliking people, emotions, boundaries, and empathy. Human emotions are complex and varied, ranging from love and affection to dislike and aversion. While many individuals strive to cultivate positive relationships and connections, it is essential to recognize that not everyone will elicit feelings of fondness. Disliking someone is a natural emotion, and it is essential to understand the reasons behind these feelings and how to navigate them in a healthy and empathetic manner. In this article, we delve into the various factors that can lead to disliking others and explore strategies for maintaining emotional balance and fostering understanding. 1. The Spectrum of Human Emotions Human emotions encompass a wide spectrum, and it is normal to experience a range of feelings toward others. While love, friendship, and admiration foster positive connections, dislike can emerge due to differences in personality, values, or behavior. Acknowledging and accepting these emotions as a natural part of the human experience is the first step towards managing them effectively. 2. Identifying Root Causes Understanding the root causes of disliking someone can offer valuable insights into our own emotional triggers and biases. Personal experiences, past interactions, or unresolved conflicts may influence our perceptions and shape our feelings towards certain individuals. Self-reflection and introspection can help identify these underlying factors and allow us to approach our emotions with greater awareness and compassion. 3. Setting Healthy Boundaries While disliking someone is normal, it is crucial to establish healthy boundaries in our interactions with them. Avoiding confrontations and negative behaviors can protect our emotional well-being and prevent unnecessary conflict. Communicating our boundaries calmly and assertively is a key aspect of maintaining a respectful distance while preserving mutual civility. 4. Cultivating Empathy Empathy is a powerful tool for navigating the complexities of interpersonal relationships. Although we may not share the same values or perspectives as others, seeking to understand their experiences and motivations can foster compassion and tolerance. Empathy encourages open-mindedness, facilitates constructive communication, and nurtures the potential for growth and reconciliation. 5. Recognizing the limitations of dislike. While disliking someone is a valid emotion, it is essential to recognize its limitations. Allowing our dislike to consume us can hinder personal growth and contribute to negative thought patterns. Adopting a mindset of acceptance and forgiveness can offer a sense of liberation and emotional freedom, allowing us to focus on the positive aspects of our lives. Conclusion Experiencing dislike towards others is a natural facet of the human emotional landscape. However, it is vital to navigate these feelings with self-awareness, empathy, and healthy boundaries. Embracing our emotions as an essential part of who we are can lead to a deeper understanding of ourselves and those around us. By acknowledging the diversity of human emotions, we can foster a more compassionate and inclusive world, where individuals coexist despite their differences and work towards mutual respect and understanding.